Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. Today we are continuing on our quest to build up defenses so that we can fortify our base against future raids. So far that has been the biggest headache for us in the last year or so are the incessant raids and I think it's because our base value is a little high because we're hoarding good quality weapons which tend to sell for a lot of money. Um, so maybe I shouldn't be hoarding these, but I'm going to continue doing that and we're going to live with it. We're going to have high base value, which means high stakes raids. And we just need to make sure we're ready for those high stakes raids. We are considering building a wall, but a wall is going to be a huge project. And I don't know if we have the mining capabilities in our colony yet to be able to really have a wall. I mean, maybe we have enough just chunks lying on the ground. It's possible. Now, we could build this wall out of marble or limestone, and I honestly don't know if one is better than the other, like harder, a harder material, but um, I think we're just going to go and build it out of limestone, because marble just sounds expensive. It might not actually be expensive. Like, I, I'm not sure. Um, but we're going to go ahead uh, first things first, I think I need to shrink this zone, or do I? Do we want to build the wall here? I kind of like the idea of building a wall here, and I don't even think we want to have an entrance. I think we want to force them to come up around through the north or through here. We can have like two diagonal kind of entrances and exits to the base, one here and one here. Um, so if I build a wall here, then we can kind of build, this is going to be a long wall. And we can have some kind of like area here where we're defending um, as well. Am I over planning? Maybe I'm over planning at the moment and we should just keep our walls small. Keep it like a small investment. I think eventually we can expand the walls to be bigger. But I think right now... The name of the game is just efficiency, right? We don't have that many resources. So I'm gonna to go to structure. I'm gonna to go to wall. We're gonna say, let's make it out of limestone. And why don't we just start building a wall like this? We will figure out where we want the other exit to be. I said I wanted it to be in this corner here. So perhaps I can build um, a couple. How do we wanna make this entrance? We want to make an entrance in a way where we're not affording the enemy any cover. So like if I just say like put two holes there, then the enemy would be able to hide here and shoot into the base. But we could also do the same. I could put an entrance here and then just have like a little sandbag outcropping right here that lets us kind of poke forward into the landscape. Um, if we do this, we would need to claim we would need to claim all of this, um, definitely, because this is all kind of stuff that the enemy can hide behind that we don't want to be there. So we'll claim all of this, and then we'll deconstruct it. Deconstruct. Where's my option for deconstruct? It's right here. Now, I might not be able to deconstruct. Oh, I can deconstruct this. Okay, perfect. Uh, the last thing we're going to need to do if we make our kind of... Um, if we make our outpost kind of here is we're going to need to haul all of these marble and limestone chunks. So I'm going to go ahead and haul, haul. Now we just created a ton of work for our uh, colonists. So I don't expect them to be done with this project anytime soon. So for now, we're going to be still vulnerable if we're attacked from this angle. Of course, this is cutting right through our tree as well. Do we really want to be doing that? Do we want to keep the tree inside the base? I think the answer is yes. So we're going to need to build at least a little outcropping. Maybe like this. The tree doesn't like being built near structures. That's a headache. It's a headache and a half to deal with. Okay. 
apparently I'm allowed to build it this far away. So if I really want to avoid the tree, we'll have to at least do this, which is ugly. It is so ugly. And I'm not even sold on this being the exit to the base anymore. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I, I am. We'll keep we'll keep the uh, the uh, northern exit like right here. I think that's fine. Okay, Jay's already getting to work. Fantastic. Looks like we've demolished most of these structures already. Maybe I should have waited for this to be done before we started um, our new giant wall project. But oh well. So checking in with the season, it is summer. It is late summer, so we're almost going into fall. So we can probably get off another harvest of hay, I would think. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get off another harvest of corn before the season. So I'm gonna let them harvest this and then we're gonna replant rice, which grows really quickly. Um, I do not think we're gonna be able to get another harvest of cotton either. Cotton takes a long time to grow, but what we can have them plant once they're done harvesting all of this cotton is we can have them start planting medicine. We can fill this uh, field up with medicine because we do not want to run out of herbal medicine, that's for sure. And wow, we're actually making a lot quicker pro progress than I thought. I thought that this wall would maybe take a few episodes to complete, but at this rate, we're gonna get this wall done today. I think the limiting factor is gonna be when we run out of limestone blocks. That's gonna be a big, big issue for us. Of course, this is all made of marble. Okay, so that's not gonna give us the limestone we need. So once we have this, what we need to do to make sure that the enemy can't get any cover is we need to build some kind of, um, I'm thinking like, if we just build sandbags out like this in like kind of U formation, that can give us, allow us to poke down here, our one weakness would be them coming up through this way. That's gonna give us, that's gonna give them the most cover um, as they approach. Speaking of defending our base, there's a group of five shamblers approaching, rotting corpses. Some inhuman force has reanimated these lifeless bodies and set them to murder. So I wonder if we dig into the anomaly DLC eventually, if we can sick shamblers on other people's bases that would be tons of fun and i'm looking forward to getting into it um, we've been taking the anomaly stuff very slowly um and by slowly i mean kind of not at all so far because i'm honestly just a little bit scared we are barely we are barely surviving out here but these shamblers are coming and we do not want to let them get to our base where they're going to become a problem so we're going to deal with them far out and far away from our base. So I'm gonna go ahead, recruit my colonists and put them out here, ready to take pot shots at the shamblers. Okay, I'm gonna wait for Jay to catch up. For some reason, Jay is slower than everybody else. Jay, did you like lose a leg or something? Nope, I don't know why Jay is being slow. Okay, Jay is going to go ahead and take the first shot. All right, I am honestly just a little bit scared. They're running at us very quickly. Minyaka, we're gonna need you to intercept. I think maybe a better strategy would have been to focus down one guy at a time. I'm now regretting just letting my guys fire at will because now all of the shamblers are a little bit damaged but none of them are very damaged. Oh boy. And I think Minyaka and the dog might go down in this fight. Poor Minyaka. Chanka's definitely going down. This won't be the first time we've had a near, a close call with Chanka. Minyaka's getting double teamed, but at least Minyaka has, at least Minyaka has a dog on her side. Okay, we need to keep Tronka kiting this zombie. Okay, 
We've taken out all the zombies. Okay, fantastic. Guys, get yourself to safety. Is anyone really badly wounded? Um, Minyaka looks like she's going to be okay. Tronka's a little bit more dicey, but nothing, no permanent injuries, which we're glad about. Okay, we'll let them uh, get each other to safety, get each other healed up. And these terrible rotting corpses, I'm just going to leave them on the ground. I'm not going to let my colonists touch them. They're all almost decomposed, almost fully decomposed already. So we'll just, we'll just let the elements take, take the rest of it. Okay, Jay's already on it. Jay, no infections, please. Do some good doctoring work. 32%, I think you've got better than that in you. Come on, you've got medical level four. Oh my gosh, only four? Who's our good doctor then? Is the answer nobody? Four is the best doctor we have. So we still need better doctors. Who's starving? Minyaka's starving. Okay, Minyaka, go eat something. We have meals. There's no reason you should be starving. I know you're tending to your dog. That's actually kind of sweet. Oh, boy. Who is it? He got an infection in his eye. Is he going to, like, lose his ability to see? Oh, boy. Okay. Um, well, Jay, I need you to make sure you're on bed rest. Go, Jay, go to bed. We don't want you, we don't want you working. We need you to get tended. Jay is currently tending to himself. And in the process, he decided that he's actually going to food binge. Thank you, Jay. We have not been able to treat Jay yet, so Jay might die. How long does the food binge last? Did you are you done eating, Jay? Can we can we tend to your can we tend to your infection yet? All right, this is Jay's house. We're gonna make sure we're prepared for Jay's house by sending Olga in here to go ahead and clean it so we can get the best tend quality possible. We want this place to be spotless for Jay. Okay, Jay, are we done binging on food? Oh my gosh, this is really bad. The infection has already gotten to 23%. Jay, stop eating. Go to bed. Go to bed. Oh boy. We might lose Jay in this episode. You know, it will be a real shame. Jay is very valuable to this colony. Who else has an infection? Tronka also has an infection. Tronka, please, for God's sake. I think the issue is we had Jay on self tend. We probably shouldn't. Um, Tronka has an infection, please. Somebody with good doctoring skills. I think Minyaka, you fit the bill. Can you go ahead and prioritize tending to Tronka? This place is filthy. Jay, what is going on? Don't you need to sleep, Jay? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Minyaka has not been treated either. Tronka, I need you to go ahead and prioritize tending to Minyaka. She has an untreated wound. That's going to get infected. Jay, are you going to sleep already? Are you just going to eat all of our food? Okay, I think Jay's dying. Jay's infection is already up to 52%. In that case, we're gonna have an extra house that we don't have anything to do with. We already made a new house for Tomboy, so I guess that means we need to recruit a new person into the colony. We're looking for medical skills, we're looking for mining skills. Um, Jay was um, construction, so we need a new person to be on construction as well. Okay, um, I guess we just have to come to terms with it. Okay, Jay's in bed. Who is tending to Jay right now? Tronka is on it. 
okay. We will tend to him, but we will not have high hopes because all we can do right now is just keep our expectations low and then be pleasantly surprised if he survives. Okay. At least the immunity is climbing up pretty quickly now. And Jay is on bed rest. Speak, but Tronka I'm more concerned about. Tronka's infection I'm much more concerned about. So actually I'm gonna say Tronka, I want you in bed, priority one. Can you do that for me, Tronka? If you die, I'm gonna be devastated. Meanwhile, I'm gonna send Olga in here to clean this whole room because it is a mess. So the next time we trend Tronka's infection, hopefully we'll have a better 10 quality because the place will be cleaner. All right, nice job, Olga. This place is already significantly cleaner than it was. All right, we got another 10 for Tronka, 30%. Okay, infection is still way ahead of the immunity. And here Jay is about to die. Okay, well, Jay, it was wonderful having you in the colony. It really was. We need to start planning for your death. What, what responsibilities did you have, Jay, that are not being covered by other people? So you were helping Tronka with all the plant duties. Tronka will continue to do this. Um, though Tronka is also supposed to be cooking, so that might distract away from his responsibilities on the field. Um, okay, so Tronka is going to kind of cover for Jay until we can recruit someone else. Jay was also constructing along with Minyaka. Minyaka can also do construction. Our construction projects will just happen a lot more slowly because Minyaka is kind of full-time tending to the baby right now. So she doesn't get a lot of time to do other things. But once the baby grows up into a, like a more self-sufficient child, uh, Minyaka should have time to kind of cover the construction aspects of Jay's job as well. Um, and then hunting, honestly, we don't really get up to much hunting anyways. Research, Jay was not much of a researcher. Okay, it'll definitely be sad if Jay dies, but it won't be the end of the world. We do need to build a grave. Is it bad to prematurely build a grave before he's even dead? I wouldn't call that rude or bad. I think that's just more like prepared. We're being prepared. Of course, we're in the middle of a heat wave, so poor everybody. It's nighttime and it's 79 out. That's not too bad. And Jay is dead. All right. Jay is dead. We need to select a grave containing Jay's corpse and click Begin Eulogy of Humanity. Okay, we can have a funeral for Jay. Somebody needs to get to um, building this grave though. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Minyaka start building it. Tronka, don't think I've forgotten about you. You better be healing. I'm actually starting to be a little more concerned about Tronka here. I really am. I don't think Tronk is healing as quickly as he needs to be. Olga, can you make sure that this bedroom stays clean? Thanks. Poor Jay. Jay, owner of one excellent great bow. Minyaka has been fully healed. Wish we could say the same about Tronka. This is going to be a real sad moment for the colony here. We're losing Tronka, our other farmer. What are we gonna do without our two farmers? Is anyone else capable of working with plants? I mean, Olga. Olga's gonna have to step up and do it. So now it's gonna be just, oh boy. Poor Minyaka. She has had to say goodbye to two of her children and now she's had to say goodbye to her husband. Meanwhile, she is single-handedly taking care of two children herself and I think responsibility of taking care of Tomboy is gonna have to fall to Olga because poor Minyaka, how is she doing mentally? My husband died, minus 20. She can't counsel herself. She can counsel other people. 
Okay, um, we are going to have to move forward. We're just gonna have to move forward and make the best of a bad situation. We need another grave. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign this one to Tronka. No. J. Where's J? Why is J not on this list? Is it because Olga's already burying him? Okay, good. Okay, Olga's already burying J. Minyaka, I need you to go... I need you to go dig the grave for your husband. I think you can find some closure in that, at least. Olga, I need you to... Where is Tronka? Tell me we did not haul Tronka out into, like, the corpse pile. Oh no, Tronka's just laying out here. Minyaka, I need you to prioritize bearing Tronka. Alright, now we're going to need to have... We're going to need to have a funeral. We're going to build, begin the eulogy of humanity. Alright, everyone's going to attend this eulogy. After the funeral for Tronka, we will hold a funeral for... Um, for Jay as well. Actually, maybe we'll just say this is a combined funeral. I really don't want to waste too much more of our time with funerals here. We're going to say this is a combined funeral for them both. We need to start reassigning some responsibilities. Jay was not only farming for us, um, but Jay was also cooking for us. So cooking responsibility needs to be taken up by somebody new. Okay, so our colony is now this, that, uh, what am I saying? Our colony is now that much smaller. So food is going to become less of an issue, at least. I mean, if we're looking at bright sides. So Olga, I need you on priority one, growing. Priority two, plant cutting. Um, I don't need you smithing anything right now, actually. If we eventually do need someone to do any kind of crafting skills, then we'll get you involved. But for the time being... I need you hauling, cleaning, and growing things. Um, if you have extra time, that's when you're going to do some research for us. Um, so I think cooking should fall to... I mean, they both have zero skills. How's Crowbar? Crowbar can't do any cooking. Tomboy has no skills either. So it's really a toss-up. I mean, we could eventually have Tomboy learn to cook. Once Tomboy gets out of her mental days, her para her paralysis here. But for the time being, Minyaka, now are you not only responsible for wardening our prisoners, taking care of our children, and handling our animals, but you are also responsible for cooking. Does this mean you won't have time to do much anything else? I think so. Can we do anything about that? Nope. Okay. Well, it is what it is. We need this baby to grow up. How old is this baby? It's age one. So Minyaka is going to be kind of busy with her hands full just with the baby for the next several years. So <sighs> Minyaka is really not going to be able to get up to much. Who is this? Why is Mo a waste rat? Are we taking care of this waste rat? Oh, they're giving us some masterwork weapons. The shuttle's arriving in 1.6 days. Okay, that's fine. We could use some more weapons, sure. Where did Tronka's weapon go? If I might, if I might inquire. Um, please haul this recurve bow for me. It's just sitting outside and deteriorating and it's a masterwork recurve bow. We definitely want to hold on to that. Okay, Olga is already eagerly uh, taking up the mantle as our new resident farmer. Luckily, Olga has a passion for farming, so Olga's not going to be too unhappy about this. Minyaka, on the other hand, Minyaka is going to have mental break after mental break. Which is not good, because she is currently our chef. Olga. Can you help her out with cooking duties as well? 
After you're done with your farming responsibilities, I need you cooking, Olga. You and Minyaka are going to share this responsibility. What a tragic time for the colony. Oh boy. I mean, at least Crowbar has been kind of keeping on top of his education, so hopefully we'll have some good options to shape his development and give him some good traits, some good passions. The eulogy was lackluster. So that's minus one. It's minus one mood for everyone involved for six days, so it had the opposite effect of what I wanted it to have. And I don't blame it being lackluster funeral. Honestly, everyone's a little bit too upset right now to be thinking about putting on an actually good quality funeral. I think we're going to have to end the episode here. I... We need to reassess our, our goals. We need to get back onto recruiting. Recruiting needs to be a priority one for us as we move forward. We've got children, but those children are years down the line developing into adults. Our soonest one is Tomboy, who is 11 years old. I think they're adults at 16. So that's five more years before we even get Tomboy to join us. And Tomboy is not going to be very skilled at anything. If you'll notice, she's been stuck in bed, so she hasn't really had any much of an education. She has no passions in anything, so she's going to be slow to learn almost every skill on this list. Um, oh well. Tomboy, I think we can have doing manual labor around the colony, like cleaning, hauling, stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully we'll get some new recruits. Bye.